Green flag's in the air. Six cars, six laps to distance, and Robert Vetter making quick work on the outside line. To the outside, a Pepper Ray Kirkendall side by side for a second. They're side by side with Michael Daniels looking underneath Murray there as well. Still side by side for a second. They're trying to battle for the lead. Three car, make it five car battle for the lead as they're all under a blanket right there. Vetter now trying to make that outside groove work on Ashcraft, but Kirkendall with a good run on the bottom side. Underneath Vetter he goes. He's up in a second. Rick Murray looking underneath Vetter with a good drive on the outside. Vetter battling for the lead over turn number four. Three wide. As they back it on off, and Robert Vetter going to have your lead in the one and two. Your new leader, the V8 car, Robert Vetter. Pepper Ray Kirkendall now looking underneath Stephen Ashcraft, trying to make that same move work. Looking underneath him as Michael Daniels to the outside of Rick Murray. Daniels trying to get fourth as Kirkendall gets second from Ashcraft at the line. Yes, he does. Kirkendall, your new second place car. Oh, Michael Daniels into the back of Ashcraft. He's going to get loose on that one, and Rick Murray is going to take the fourth spot oh, now. Number four is the white flag flies to your leader. Ashcraft and Murray side by side for third. Ashcraft on the top side. Murray on the bottom. Robert Vetter is your leader. He's your winner, but the battle's for third. Checkered flag in the air. Your winner of the eight of Robert Vetter. Second coming to the battle for third. I'm a turn number four. Ashcraft, Murray, Murray going to get into the line. Fourth going to go to Ashcraft. Fifth, Michael Daniels. And six is going to be Carl B. Six Lord. cars going to be going six laps on the round to Devil's Bowl Speedway. And the green flag is up. Burroughs up into the point early and often as Mike Meese Jr. going to settle for second. Third, McGibbony. Rowdy Day underneath Brian Bowden. Brian Bowden, one of the fastest cars week in and week out in the Blaine's Works Play USA Little Modified Division. He's trying to make the outside line work around Rowdy Day. Day goes underneath him, but it ain't going to work. As Mike Meese Jr. gets the lead at the line underneath Burroughs at the turn number four. New leader through one and two. That's Mike Meese Jr. Rowdy Day into the back of Jeff McGivney just a bit. That's going to allow Rutherford to get a run underneath Day. Rutherford and Day side by side through three and four. Rutherford going to get fourth as McGivney looks to the inside of Burles. Burles losing spots on the turn four. As now he got four cars right there. No Satel door to door. Trying to get under Tandy Burles as Brian Bowden's thrown his hand back in the battle. He's underneath Rutherford. Rutherford not giving him too many, too much room there, but he's able to hold down his ground, and he goes up the racetrack into Rutherford. Side by side the line for second. Oh, that's Bowden back in the day. Bowden and Day and Rutherford getting together there, and Day's going to come to a stop. Well, he is out. Mike Meeks Jr. to one and two is your leader with Rowdy Day still sitting... Uh, Neutral down there on the bottom side of one and two, but we stay green. Two more laps to go this time by Bowden right through the inside of Rutherford. Contact just a bit. They're battling it out for that third spot with two laps to go at the line. Oh, Bowden hard in the side of Rutherford once again. Bowden and Rutherford hard contact. Once again, Brian Bowden, and he's going to get the third spot by doing it. Winner, Mike Meeks Jr., second, Jeff McGivney, third, Brian Bowden, fourth, Kevin Green. Flag is out. Green flag in the air. Matt Reed up in the center. Three, wow, with a little bit of a bump there between Bowden and Gary Corbin. Randy Kirkland trying to charge the outside in the red 42 car to the outside of Matt Reed. He goes, and he's going to have him at the line. Bode trying to make the same move on the outside of Matt Reed. Reed loose on the bottom. Bode with a good drive off of turn two. Gary Corbin going to get around him now as well as Reed got loose off of turn two. 
Three cars around that region as he goes from second to fifth. Your leader still Chris Webb, Randy Kirkland now charging in. Kirkland Harding on the outside of three and four. Looking around the outside of, of Chris Webb as he got out of it there down the front straightaway just a bit. Your winner at 42, Randy Kirkland. Say on to Chris Webb, third boat, A, fourth, Gary Corbin. Fifth to 12, and Matt Reed. And sixth, the M80, and Marissa Rowe. Brian Short in the front row of this one. Josh Short, Jimmy Stats, Jimmy Day, Bobby Ortega, and Seth McMacken. Josh Short and Brian Short, uncle and nephew. The nephew currently leading the duo there as Jimmy Stats now and Jimmy Day. Jimmy Stats to 39, Jimmy Day to 23. Stats trying to look to the outside of Brian Short. Brian Short going to hold down that bottom groove, but Stats, Stats trying to work the outside line. Stats to the outside of him in the three and four. Now Jimmy Day closes in on both day to the inside of Stats. Three card paddle for second. Day and Stats trying to make a short sandwich, but they don't do it. They go, and wow, that was some close corner racing right there. As Stats on the outside of short, Day trying to get underneath, and we got three cars going at it for a lap and a half now. Short up the raceway. Day and Stats getting the run down the back stretch. Stats over the right rear of Brian Short. Day now trying to look underneath Short as Short may have some right rear damage. Day enters high in the one and two, cuts it low, looking underneath Short down the back straight away. Not gonna get the run he anticipated on him. Josh Short getting the white flag with Day closing in on Brian Short. Day to the inside of Brian Short in one and two. As old Seth McMacken up in smoke. Look out, look out of a turn four. Seth McMacken making his debut at the Devil's Bowl Speedway in 2014. Uh, having some motor troubles there off of turn four. Bunch all four cars up now, and Jimmy Day and Jimmy Stout seem to be pretty quick there. We'll see what happens. Green flag in the air, green white checkered. Day gonna get the run on the top side of one and two, make it around Brian Short, does he or does he not? Yes, he does down the back straight away, but Short with a good run on the bottom side still. As Day drives it in on the bottom groove of the speedway. He, he looks to the inside of Josh Short, trying to get underneath him, but he's not going to get it done. Here, winner of Josh Short, second Jimmy Day, third Brian Short. Hey, main event. Giving the outside him 23, Jimmy Day. Third row, Pepper Ray Kirkendall, V8, Robert Vetter. Fourth row, 22, Chris Webb, 37, Mike Meeks Jr. Four, fifth row, four, Bo Day, 77, B. Brian Bowden. Sixth row, eight, Rick Murray, two, Brian Short. Seventh row, Kevin Rutherford, Stephen Ashcraft. Eighth row, Gary Corbin, Jimmy Stats. Ninth row, Michael Daniels, Tandy Burles. Tenth row, Matt Reed, Seth McMack, and Carl Roddy Day, Marissa Rose, Bobby Ortega. Green flags in the air. Up in smoke for Brian Short. Up in smoke and that's going to bring out a caution. Green flies in the air.
Kirkland with the hold of the lead, three wide. There's it for just a second. Jimmy Jay looking to the outside of Kirkland on the back straightaway. Battle for the lead in the three and four. Jimmy Day, Randy Kirkland going out there. It looks like Day's going to have the lead on a turn number four and lead lap number one. Day scoops away from the rest of the pack. Now Josh Short looking underneath Randy Kirkland with the performance off the fly power plant coming to life in the three and four. Robert Vetter now looking at the outside of Jet McGivney gets a little push on the turn four. Going to be able to hold down the fourth spot is the 19 of Jet McGivney. Right on the turn two, Vetter with the run, new fourth place car. Robert Vetter on the back straight away. Him and Randy Kirkland working the top side of the speedway, making it work. That's now Vetter to the outside of Josh Short down the front straight away. Vetter in the third now. Vetter on the move. And Jeff McGivney goes underneath Josh Short as well. Pippa Ray Kirkendall now reeling in Josh Short. Randy Kirkland starting to catch Jimmy Day. Kirkland's found the line in the midsection, upper part of the raceway. As Josh Short breaks in the one and two, Josh Short off the speedway in the J2 car. Jimmy Stats and Michael Daniels coming up through the field. Stats starting 16th and Daniels starting 17th as they're cracking the top 10. Battle for the lead, Randy Kirkland is there. Kirkland looks high on Day, but man went too high. As on the turn two, Jimmy Day gets the run and able to hold down the lead and get a few car lengths away from Randy Kirkland. Kirkland strong in three and four. The 42 coming to life as he's running down your leader. One and two, day better than Kirkland, but three and four. Kirkland is strong on the outside line. The top four of day, Kirkland, Vetter, and McGivney broken away for the rest of the field. Kirkland in the back bumper trying to fuel out how he's going to get around him. He goes low for the first time in this race. Kirkland trying to look underneath day. Not going to work, but he is able to hold a better. Oh, is there three wide for fifth between Bo Day, Bob Bowen, and Kirkland? Battle for the lead, though. Side by side on the turn number four. Kirkland going to have him at the right contact. Day off the pace. Day off the speedway. New leader, Randy Kirkland. Two more. To go and Vetter starting to run down Randy Kirkland. Bodie, oh, look out! Turn two! Evasive maneuvers! Evasive maneuvers, look out! Green flag racing off turn number four. Ray Kirkland holds the point. He's on the throttle. Green flag is in the air. Vetter to the inside. Vetter goes long. Kirkland on the inside. He's got the lead on the turn two. Kirkland back around to the extra door. Side by side for the lead. Bo Day closing in. White flag flying. One more to go. Vetter loose. Kirkland holds the point and holds the lead. Something wrong with the V8 cars. He's not able to rotate. Ball day underneath Vetter. Ball day underneath Vetter. Final turn, final time. And Randy Kirkland, your winner. Battle for second, and Vetter's going to get him. Ball day third. Fourth, Jeff McGivney. Fifth, Rowdy Day. What a drive. 42. Randy Kirkland, first win of 2014. Stand down here in uh, Blaine's Horse Supply, USA Lima I-5 Victory Lane, and uh, Randy Kirkland, you uh, usually used to being up front winning races. We thought you'd already have a few of these this year, but 
uh, some fast heat racing, but finally got this A main thing figured out tonight. Yeah, we got hooked up on the outside at the end there pretty good, but finally we got a lucky draw and got on the front. And these old cars are so competitive nowadays, uh, you know, if you're on that front row, you got a lot better shot at it. You had a few cars show you their nose. What did you think there? Did you just stick with the line that you'd been running and have faith in it? No, the 23 got by I mean, on the outside, and uh, that's where I usually run, and then I jumped back to the outside and was a little faster, so, you know. After you took the lead, did you see anyone else uh, or hear anyone else back there? Well, Vetter on the last restart, he showed me his nose down in the, the one and two, but he hit that water from Michael, and uh, I got on away from him. Who helps you with this race car? Get out here week in and week out and take them a win like you did tonight. Yeah, we got uh, Performance Auto Supply that we build these race motors, and uh, this is a brand new one this week, and it hooked up and run good. So we're proud of them at the shop there. So we get a lot of help from my Harry at Performance and my brother, my wife, and all, of them, all the fans that come and watch me each week. And I have a few of them, and I appreciate them all. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Winning or not in the Blaine Sports Plot USA Aluminum Modifies, the 42 of Randy Kirkland. And for the lead of a turn number four, three wide. As they back it on off, and Robert Vetter going to have your lead in the one and two. Your new leader, the V8 car, Robert Vetter. Pepper Ray Kirkendall now looking underneath Stephen Ashcraft, trying to make that same move work. Try to battle for the lead. Three car, make it five car battle for the leaders. They're all under a blanket right there. Better now trying to make that outside groove work on Ashcraft, but Kirkendall with a good run on the bottom side. Underneath Vetter he goes. He's up in a second. Rick Murray looking underneath Vetter with a good drive on the outside. Vetter battle. Green flags in the air. Six cars, six laps to distance, and Robert Vetter make a quick work on that outside line to the outside. A Pepper Rick Kirkendall side by side for a second. They're side by side with Michael Daniels looking underneath Murray there as well. Still side by side for a second. The bike flies to your leader. Ashcraft and Murray side by side for third. Ashcraft on the top side. Murray on the bottom. Robert Vetter is your leader. He's your winner, but the battle's for third. Checkered flag in the air. Your winner of the Vieta. Robert Vetter second. Coming all the Looking underneath them as Michael Daniels to the outside of Rick Murray. Daniels trying to get fourth. This Kirkendall gets second from Ashcraft at the line. Yes, he does. Kirkendall, your new second place car. Oh, Michael Daniels into the back of Ashcraft. He's going to get loose on that one, and Rick Murray is going to take the fourth spot. Oh, now. Four is the white